Good morning once again. My name is Joy Mochache. So happy to be with you guys here. And you're tuned into Freestyle Friday. And just before we finish off, we've got two more wonderful photographers that we want to interview. And before we do that, there are places where you guys can reach us. India, we need to hear from you guys. We need to show these guys love. So how you're going to do that is through our Facebook on Y254 channel, as well as our Twitter on Y254 channel. And you can also reach us on Instagram. That is Y254 underscore channel and don't forget to watch us on YouTube at Y254 channel and so I've got some very handsome men very talented men to introduce to you guys so let's start with our first one please pick up the mic yes let's start with your name and what you do I'm um, Fidel uh, they call me Fidel Toll Fidel Tall. Yeah. By the way, you're tall. <laughs> <laughs> you have long legs. Hey. I'm a photographer, uh -huh. portrait photographer. Uh -huh. I do street photography mostly. Mm -hmm. Street photography? Yeah. Oh, okay, cool. And I'm a student too. You're a student? Yeah. Wapiapo. I'm at Kabete. Kabete. Kabete National Polytechnic. Oh, okay. So I do civil engineering. Civil engineering? Yeah. Hey, that's that's different from photography. Kapsa. <laughs> totally different. Mm -hmm, okay. okay. We'll get back to why. Okay. If you can pass the mic. Yo, so hello. Karibu sana. Uh, my name is Simon Chege. Simon oh. Chege? Yes. yes. From Lines Photography Kenya. Lines Photography. I'm a beauty, portrait, and event photographer. Beauty, portrait, portrait and, and event events. photographer. Yes. But I venture out into other genres for the sake of my training because I'm a trainer I'm a and a retoucher too. Oh, okay, so I yeah. Well. All right, so yeah. let's just jump right in. Yeah. I've heard you saying you're a trainer. Yeah. You're a trainer. <laughs> <laughs> I was no, looking um, for one. <laughs> I, I do photography training, yeah. though not uh, on such a big scale, but uh, being self-taught, I have a lot, of, a lot to share because my journey has been about learning on the go. So once in a while, I get questions, how do you do this? What camera do you use? Uh, how is this achievable? And I, I uh, so by, by, by virtue of that, uh, with the time, it has become a, a class of sorts because I have a group with around 200 people on WhatsApp. I have okay. a blog site. I have uh -huh. a YouTube channel, uh -huh. all for the purpose of uh, training and sharing my knowledge with fellow photographers. Okay. Yeah. So let me get this straight. Mm -hmm. You're self-taught and then you train as well. Yes, I'm self-taught. Because uh, when I was in school, I took something very different. I okay. was in KU, taking environmental science. Environmental science at KU. Yes, yes majoring <laughs> in conservation. Hey, and how that did you pick up a camera? <laughs> <laughs> hey. Yeah, so when I picked up a camera and I became a good photographer. Yes. Okay. So yes. it's like the talent was in you, but then ilikwange melala. Yes. Uh, when I was growing up, my dad was a photographer back in the day. So oh. I was on class five, four. I used to help him stick uh, negatives to the back <laughs> of the photos after Zime Yeah, I remember. <laughs> <laughs> so days. that was my first exposure with photography. Then, so from there, school had to happen. I went to primary, high school, graduated. Mm -hmm. Then I, I found myself back behind the camera again. Okay. And now it's for life. Okay. Yeah. Sawa, sawa. Uh, hey, that's so interesting. Yeah. Self-taught plus training people. Yeah. That's, that's tops. Mm. And let me ask Fidel Tall a few questions. Mm -hmm. So street fashion. Street fashion. How come street fashion? How come not um, maybe beauty portraits or something? Okay. Let's say beauty portraits, it, 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 it is ventured by many photographers. But mm -hmm. the street fashion, it's something new in the Kenyan business eh? okay. industry. Yeah. So we went in street fashion to, s to show us the way people style themselves mm. and their creativity. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. How do you get clients to photograph? Do they, s do they look for you or do you scout them out? Both. It goes both ways? Both ways. Okay. And yeah. then street fashion, is it on the streets of Nairobi? Yeah, yeah. In the oh. streets. Do guys stop now? Kidogo, kidogo here. Yeah, they're looking, wondering what's going yeah, on. Yeah, some people look at yeah. what we do, mm. but we are just. Tuna kanga tu hapo, tunafanya tu kazi zetu. Tunafanya kazi zetu. This yeah. is some of your work. Yeah. It's beautiful. Thank it's you. It's really beautiful. Yeah. Okay. And so, how, how do you come up with these poses, or do they come up with them? Because I'm seeing them so unique. Uh, we think about them. You think about yeah, them. Yeah, there are ideas in our minds. So you've got a little bit of director in you also. Yeah. You can be a director. <laughs> yeah. Ah. Uh -huh. Okay, that's amazing. And Simon Chege, yes. this is your work in front of us, displayed here. Yes, some of my work. 
Mm -hmm. Yes. So I'm seeing this is beauty portraits. Yes, that is mostly is beauty and creative portraits. Beauty, and, okay. Yeah. Why did you choose only beauty and creative? Um, let me start with beauty. Okay. I love the African skin. Mm -hmm. The African skin is dark, rich in texture, rich yes. in character. Yes. So when I when I, when I'm shooting dark skin and or I'm behind the the computer retouching, mm -hmm. I just feel at home. You feel at home. Yeah, so uh, for that reason I love beauty mm -hmm. because I love details also. I love working on the skin, getting to see the pose, mm -hmm. the texture, the everything. And so um, a bit, uh, when you do beauty, you need a makeup artist. Okay. Or, uh, yes. So w w when I got a, a, my makeup artist, Uncle Ken Makeup, mm -hmm. uh, he does creative makeup also. So ultimately, okay. once in a while, we, uh, most, of, most of our projects we do beauty, then for, we change the look to something creative. So they go hand in hand for us. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, um, so there's a photo actually I saw mm -hmm. this um, someone with a cigarette. Yeah. How how did that come to me? <laughs> I know it's. <laughs> did you tell them? Is it a habit of theirs? And they thought, ah, you know, this would be something nice to hold. Uh, not really. That if we can get that, actually, maybe we can maybe we can pull it up. Yeah, I think she's one of one, one of the prints here. The other one in particular. So okay. uh, that was a project. Okay. It was an anti-smoking campaign. Anti it was uh, yes, anti -smoking uh, campaign. anti smoking campaign. Mm. Yes, because if you look at the photo, uh, the photo depending on how you interpret it. Yes. Uh, you can see her eyes are not so beautiful. Mm. Uh, her mouth is full of uh, burnt filters to mm. show that she, ca she can't take any more cigarette, but she still has one in her hand because she still has the urge. Mm -hmm. So we are telling people. Uh, it, uh, it, it, it is the last photo in the sequence. Yeah. So the first photo she was she was looking very beautiful. Then as we proceed, she she looks uh, she de deteriorates and looks bad because of smoking. Yeah, she's looking finished. Yeah, so yeah, one. that was that, that that is the point. Smoking is ah. not cool. Okay. Yeah. Anti-smoking campaign. Yeah. And there's one right here. Mm -hmm. I'm seeing a lady covered in coins in coins yes <laughs> <laughs> is this something a campaign about money or what's it yeah deal no, with this no, one? actually for that particular shoot we were, we were shooting a, a, a calendar concept for 2017 mm -hmm. and that is one of the photos that we got from the from the from the series okay. uh, we had a particular photo that uh, had the calendar um, the year written in coins yeah. but uh, this one we, we just loved how the outlook of the, how the coins look from afar mm. uh, still based on the same we shot another project called uh, Kashiling na kafiling. Okay. We use the same same concept of uh, using Shilling coins. Like yeah, kashiling na kafiling. Uh -huh. uh, then we, we, we used uh, coins to uh, to indicate the price of uh, Coca-Cola bottles by size yeah. by having uh, having the coins and the bottle on the face of a model post different. I think one of them might be here. Mm. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. Well, before there are some fun questions I have for you guys, but before we get to that, I mm. wanted to ask. Yeah. I see both of you. Your work is on social media, and let me start actually with Fidel. Uh, what's the impact social media has had on your work? Do you think it's um, aided your work to go further or? It has aided my work to go further. It has? Because I've started my work through Instagram. Okay. You and started through Instagram? Yeah. Oh, okay. And it has helped me a lot. Mm -hmm. So I get most of my clients from there. Mm -hmm. So most of them DM me, some call me, mm -hmm. and it works. I saw photos that you took of um, particular concepts of this uh, artists. One was Rick Ross. Yeah. Yeah. How did you? Is it? Um, how did that come to be? Were you asked to come to this event, or? No, we were. We weren't asked to yeah. go to the event. Mm -hmm. We just paid for event mm -hmm. for the event, mm -hmm. and we went. Me and my friends and that we shoot together. Mm -hmm. So we went and took some shots, mm -hmm. and we just posted them. I see. Yeah. And then what happens when it comes to rights and things like that? Do the rights go to you guys or to the artists in the photograph or they they give us the rights. They give us the rights. Yeah. They give you guys the rights. Yeah. Oh yes, our sour. And also I wanted to know from <laughs> Simon Chege. <laughs> yeah. Yes. I saw you had photos from EMB records. Yeah. People with like Bahati. Yeah. Yeah. Uh so sometime last year for a period of time I was uh the official photographer for EMB Records. Your what? Official photographer. Official photographer. Yeah, so that means I, I used to take most of their photos when they have concerts, when they have uh, activities, mm -hmm. when they have something at the studio, or maybe a family a family need for for party or any of the artists. Mm -hmm. So I used to do that kind of work for a period of time last year. Okay. Yeah. Oh, wow, that's interesting. Mm. And um, 
this is your portfolio, right? Yes, that is my my, my portfolio. Okay. Who? Oh, oh that's um, a jib right there. Yes, that is an ajib. Okay. That was actually a, a magical Kenya tourism expo last last year. Last year. Yes, I got to work for the event in official capacity. Mm -hmm. It was a nice experience. Oh. Yeah. Wow. Oh, those are colorful photos. Uh, thank you. Oh, so there's a lot of, um, yeah, you're focused a lot on the face. Mm -hmm. That's what I've noticed about your work, yeah. a lot on the face, most yeah. of it. How come you don't do full body shots? Um, for, 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 for last year, most of the work on my, my, my Instagram is last year work, mm -hmm. and I was focusing on beauty photography. Okay. And now uh, what sets uh, beauty and fashion apart is mostly what, uh, what, what part of the body that we shoot. Mm -hmm. For beauty, we focus on the head coming down up to to the collarbones maybe and the shoulders so once you go past that and you include the outfits and the whatever those other poses that's no fashion photography Becomes fashion uh, but like for this. yes for last year i was focusing uh, sorry focusing on beauty <laughs> and uh, beauty is all about the face mm -hmm. so uh, being a retoucher also retouching is all about the face because mm -hmm. uh, we have to edit uh, and see the details or so remove the pimples the spots the whatnot so it's all about the face for beauty okay and yeah. um what are your plans when it comes to photography because I hear you're a little bit more interested in going into full body fashion photos yeah. and is there something coming up next year yeah uh, you mean this year this year this year <laughs> yes. year. you're so right this year yeah, so uh, this year <laughs> yeah. um, uh, from how I'd planned my, my my growth plan this year I want to venture into fashion okay also like at all uh, being uh, being a trainer I need to get at, at least the, the basic concept uh, for all genres of photography mm -hmm. so I can be a good trainer for, for my students mm -hmm. since I have the concept myself. Mm -hmm. So uh, as the years progress, I, I, I add something new and venture in it for the whole year, mm -hmm. uh, get better, get better, get better. Like I did with beauty last year, this year I want to do fashion. Okay. Yeah, so um, I'm, I'm planning the same, talking to a few uh, fashion houses, mm. a, a few designers, a few models and bloggers and whatnot to get everything going. Ah, yeah. I see. And Fidel, what are your upcoming projects, if any? What were or which areas would you like to venture into this year? This year, or are um, you? Am I your good where you're at? No, not uh, really. Mm. I'll mostly venture on cityscapes and las landscapes. Okay. And more, more portraits. More portraits, yeah. cityscapes, land, less of people. Yeah, less of people, yeah. more f cityscapes and landscapes. Okay. Yeah. Sour, sour. Now I've got, mm -mm, stay with the mic. I wanted to ask, there are some things that photographers happen to dislike, apparently. Yes. And uh, <laughs> let me start with asking questions that people would ask you. Mm -hmm. And I wanted to, you guys to tell me mm -hmm. what you feel when people ask you such questions. Yeah. Okay. okay. So for example, competing for attention with cell phone photographers. Yeah. Or things like um, someone asks you, can I get the original raw photos from the shoot? The raw photos, the untouched, the ones. <laughs> I've seen your reaction was so, like you are <laughs> Lishtuka. That's, that's very irritating. Really irritating? When they ask that. Oh, how come? Because you take your time editing a photo. You put so much effort in editing it. Then after you send it to the client or the model, they ask you for the original photo. They don't see the effort, you see? Or they add filters in the photo. Mm -hmm. okay. It's very irritating. That's irritating. Yeah. What I'm seeing him shaking his head <laughs> so passionately. <laughs> Let's hear what he has to say. Yeah, so no um, let me start with the filters. <laughs> Man, that one kills our spirit. Because you know, oh. <laughs> uh, people equate uh, adding filters to, uh, to a photo on their phones <coughs> to what you do be behind a computer for 30 or 40 minutes. Mm -hmm. For example, when I'm retouching a, a beauty a beauty shot, just mm -hmm. one face, I mm -hmm. can take 30, 40 minutes on that on that face. Mm -hmm. Then I can send the, the photo to the owner. They can do uh, my 40 minutes work with a filter in a second. Oh, yeah. So once they, then once they, they uh, there's no problem up to there. Once they put the, the photo on social media, they will tag you and mention you. <laughs> so according to the world, you did that. You the did, filter, yeah. not oh. the 40 minutes that you did there to put to make it a good professional photo. Mm. So they're promoting their own work yes. instead uh, of your work. They actually, they actually misrepresenting your work. Misrepresenting. Yeah. So actually, mm. when someone filters my photo, I ask them kindly to either untag me and mention me or take down the photo. One of those. Yeah. And do people normally comply? Yeah, they do. I make them understand. Ah, okay. Yeah, I make you them explain understand. Explain to them this is why. Yes. Uh, so ah. then about the people who ask for the raw photos, uh, I. I think personally, 
I've done so many jobs where, where, where I deliver my, my photos raw. Okay. Uh, as a photographer, I have trained myself to ve do very little in post-production. So my strength is in getting a good shot on the field. Because mm. there are companies that you work for, or clients, uh, e.g. Red Bull Kenya, I've worked for Red Bull for the last two years. And when you go to the events, there's no room for editing. You take the photo, uh, sh uh, share to your phone, share to the social media person, it goes to, to Instagram live and continuously as the event progresses. Mm -hmm. So there's no room for edit. So having uh, uh, working, uh, working in that kind of environment, I've learned how to master the art of getting the almost perfect photo in camera. Okay. So even if you want your photos after the, after the shoot, well and good, you can go home with them. Okay. Yeah. And I have to ask, mm -hmm. photographers, now you guys, do mm -hmm. you normally take photos of yourselves and then uh. edit them? <laughs> And did you go through this whole thing when it, and for yourself though, like your own portraits? <laughs> um, I, I think in my three years, yeah. I've, I've had photos of me taken, I think, twice mm. when, uh, when there was need. <laughs> when there was need. Oh, there was a reason. Yeah, there was Yours a reason. wasn't just for fun. Uh, not for the for sake fun. of vanity. Yeah. Did, yeah. <laughs> okay. Like send us a photo of you. Yeah, it's, yeah. Not good, not good. Let me take one. All right. Yeah. Oh, ah, yeah. yeah. What about Fidel? You <laughs> I like photos. You like photos. So I take them. You take of yourself. Yeah. And then my you friends edit take, them. Take them, then I edit them. Mm. But I keep them in my then gallery. Now what do you do with them? <laughs> I keep them in my gallery. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Like on display. Or or DP. Mm. Yeah. Something like oh that. Oh yeah. Sour sour. Yeah. And then a little bit of would you rather before we close the show. Mm -hmm. I wanted to know. Would you rather get locked in a room and photograph A? Super S or B, Mudoni, the drama queen. Locked in a room. Which would you prefer to photograph between one or the other? <laughs> Mudoni, the drama queen. I want to know why. Her I would have asked why for either one. Anyway. Her style is unique. Her what? You can, if you see her, like her page. Yeah. She has unique styles, like her hairstyles. Mm. They are very unique. Her fashion style. Very she'd unique. be fun to photograph. Yeah, she'd be okay. fun. Okay. How about you? Between the two? Between the two, mm. uh, let me take the path, the path less traveled. I'll I'll shoot him <coughs> super yes. Okay. Because she, I think th th it will be full of drama. It'll just be fun. It will be fun. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it will be a fun photo shoot. We can make shoot. a song together in the in the course of the shoot. Okay. And <laughs> yeah. lastly, the last and final question: Would you rather marry a photographer or a video director? Would you rather marry someone in your field, Kapsa, um, or someone in the media field and separate? I have to. Uh, I area. have to choose. Okay. Between the two, mm. you have to choose one or the other. I marry. Like, spend uh, the rest of your <laughs> life with. <laughs> put I a ring on it. Let me say someone in my field, not necessarily a, a photographer, but mm. someone in my field, because that is broad. Can be a video director, can be a video guy, mm. a makeup artist, mm. whatever, whatever. Mm. Yeah. So someone in my field, not particularly a photographer. Okay. Yeah. And what about you? Who would you rather marry? Or is it is a question too quick? Uh, it's, 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 it's not. Okay. I'd marry a photographer. You'd marry a photographer. We'd travel together. Oh, yeah. take photos of each other. Exactly. Because you like photos. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's sweet. Yeah. Okay, sawa sawa. And um, actually, you guys, I think we've come to the end of our show. We've got, uh, we've had a wonderful time here in Hawaii in the morning with you. And please remember, I wanted you guys to share your social media so I can reach you directly. And in case guys want their photographs taken, let's start with you, Fidel. Where can guys follow you? Where can guys reach you at? You can find me on Instagram at Fidel Toll. Fidel underscore Toll. Fidel underscore Toll. Yeah. Just Instagram. Just Instagram. Okay. You're not on those other ones. Uh, I'm not, <laughs> I'm not that into other other social media. Okay. Yeah. And this is what works for you anyway. It works for me. I saw. So thank you for that. How about you, Simon Chege? Where do you guys reach you and follow you? Um, uh, number one is Instagram. Okay. Uh, my main account is Lines Photography underscore K E, but I have uh, two or three other accounts mm -hmm. for handling the different. Uh, Lines Photography K E is for sharing my main work. Uh, Simon Chege is for me as a photographer, as a person, uh, where I share my my own created work. Then there's Simon Chege Retouch. There I offer photo editing services for photographers. Uh, models, makeup artists, or anybody else. Okay. So professional um, photo editing services. So, so. Yeah, so uh, lines photography underscore KE, that is the most important. So once you got there, the other links are there. 
So Lions Photography underscore KE and, K -E. and Fidel underscore Tall, both on Instagram mostly. Yeah. And you can follow me on Joy underscore Mochache. And most importantly, you can follow this awesome youth channel called Y254 on Facebook. That is Y254 channel on Instagram, Y254 underscore channel and on Twitter, Y254 channel. Have a wonderful, wonderful rest of the day. This was Y in the morning and my name was Joy Mochache.